will uh, see this uh, relative humidity so what is a relative, uh, relative humidity so this is a uh, when moisture is present in air then this is called as a humid air so this is definition when moisture is present in air this is called as a humid air and the phenomena is called as the humidity so the humidity of this air always it constantly changes what is a relative humidity so it is a ratio of the mass of water vapors means small m actually present in certain volume of air at room temperature mass of water vapor actually present in certain volume at room temperature so this is a mass of water vapor to the maximum mass of water vapor m required to saturate the same volume of air as air at the same temperature so so it is the actually mass of the water vapor and we are comparing to the saturated uh, mass of water vapor at the same temperature the temperature is constant but the water, uh, mass of water vapor is different so one is the uh, theoretical uh, the, uh, theoretical value and one is the actual value so it is just like a percentage it is calculated in percentage uh, relative humidity is cal uh, calculated as percentage so we can write m by capital m capital is the uh, theoretical mass of the water present in the atmosphere this is the actual mass divided by uh, m by m into 100 this is the formula we can write in some other way rh is equal to mass of the water vapor present in certain volume of air or divided by uh, divided by maximum mass of water vapors present in same volume of air saturated by uh, saturated by saturated by water vapors so volume is same only mass of the water vapor has difference this is the third way of writing rh uh, vapor pressure of the water at room temperature in air or gas divided by saturated vapor pressure at room temperature in air or gas the one more term is coming often with the relative humidity is called dew point so what is dew point so it is the temperature at which the gas under given atmospheric conditions becomes saturated so it is a nothing but temperature in which the gas becomes saturated means what is the meaning of this one the meaning of this thing saturated means at dew point vapor pressure of water at room temperature is equal to saturated vapor pressure of water at dew point so uh, vapor pressure of water at room temperature equal to saturated vapor so both uh, 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 vapor pressure of water and plus uh, uh, saturated, uh, saturated vapor pressure of water is equal what is this mean this means that the relative humidity is nothing but the it becomes a hundred percent if this condition prevails then it becomes a hundred percent so we can write uh, same formula for this also so relative humidity is equal to saturated vapor pressure at dew point divided by saturated vapor pressure at room temperature so if both temperature uh, so vapor pressure of uh, in both conditions become equal then relative humidity 100% if you cool this uh, if you keep temperature below this dew point then what happens then this moisture of air will condense and it will convert it to liquid form so, so these are the i have drawn some graph this is a graph is there this is the relative humidity increasing percentage and this is temperature in fahrenheit so this temperature is increasing okay and this is decreasing if you go this point so at suppose this point is suppose uh, 37 degrees so this is a dew point and 37 degrees centigrade the humidity is saturation air so this become 100 percent so at 37 centigrade centigrade dew point and uh, vapor pressure of water becomes equal to each other if you go decreasing like this one so if you increase the temperature so definitely relative humidity will also decrease so this is a graph of some uh, water vapor here are some point if relative humidity increases rate of evaporation decreases definitely what moisture increases so you have to keep this point humid air is less than the dry air so it is also true so humid air is less than the moisture content is here more moisture content is less because it's totally dry if temperature increases relative humidity may increase although absolute humidity will increase so if temperature increases it is not as see that relative humidity will decrease it may decrease or it may increase it depends but absolute if you take the overall humidity it will always increase saturated vapor pressure they do not obey gas laws but dalton's law why because pressure is independent volume in dalton's law we never write volume so uh, the saturated vapor pressure they obey the this one Dalton's law but not ideal gas law so we will see in the problem uh, with all these things in the form of problems and see how all this works in the problem the problems with the relative humidity 
So, uh, relative humidity, the ratio of the water in air at a given temperature to the vapor pressure of the water at that, uh, that temperature. So, this we know this uh, definition of relative humidity. Calculate the mass of water uh, per liter in air at 20 degree centigrade, uh, whose relative humidity is 45% and 0 degree centigrade when the relative humidity is 95%. And discuss whether temperature or relative humidity has the greater effect on the mass of water vapor in air. So here parcel uh, pressure of the water vapor they have given here now uh, it is pure water vapor pressure 17.5 torr at 20 degree centigrade and if you take in 0 degree centigrade then at that time vapor pressure of water is 4.58 torr so this is the maximum water vapor pressures so as per the conditions formula uh, what is the parcel pressure of water at uh, 20 degree centigrade so parcel pressure of water this definition is R is equal to parcel pressure of water divided by the pure water, vapor, vapor pressure of the pure water. So, this is the vapor pressure pure water. This is we have to find the parcel pressure of water vapor because from after finding we can find the moles of the water vapor, then we can find the weight. And at this temperature, uh, relative humidity is 45 percent. So, this divided by this is equal to relative humidity percentage. So Parcel pressure of water vapor will be 45 into 17.5, so we will get 7.88 atmosphere. Now, what is the moles of water? So, moles of water will be at this temperature. Pressure we know that 7.88, this is the 1 liter R and T. So, this is the pressure volume RT, we will get this much volume. Weight, now we know the moles, so weight will be whole divided into 18, 7.76 milligram. Now, come to 0 degree centigrade, same thing. At this temperature, the uh, your uh, relative humidity is given here, it's 95%. Same thing you can calculate here. So, parcel pressure of water at 0 degree centigrade will be 95% into total pressure. At, this is the pure pressure. We will get this much pressure. So, now we find the moles. Moles will be PV by RT. PV is given. Volume is 1 liter. And this is the RNT. So if you solve it, you will get 2.55 into 10 power minus 3 the moles. So, weight will be your 4.6 milligram. So, you can compare uh, this and this. So, here it is decreases. When temperature decreases, the weight of the water mass, uh, mass of the water also decreases. So, what does we conclude? So, we conclude that despite the higher percentage, this is the question third, because we have to discuss whether temperature or relative humidity has the greater effect on the water mass or not. Yes, it is, it is causing effect. Does the higher percentage humidity in and despite the higher percentage humidity in part B, so this is the part B here, humidity by 95%. So there was less water in the vapor. So here, water uh, relative humidity is 95%, and 4% we can compare. There is a less amount of water vapor here, 7.76, here 4.6 milligram. So because of much lower water vapor pressure, as you see here, the vapor pressure of water is lower. But however, both play important role in determining the mass of water. But temperature and uh, this. Uh, parcel pressure both playing important role. So here we can also get 100%, here we can also get 90%, here we can get also 90%. Here also this is pressure also very important, here pressure is also important. So both uh, means mass of water and this one temperature both play important role in humidity. So this is very important point to in these questions. The vapor pressure of water in air at 20 degree centigrade is 12 millimeters of mercury on a particular day. The saturation vapor pressure of water at 20 degree is 17.5 millimeter mercury. Calculate the RH. So, it is very easy. RH means uh, just take the um, vapor pressure of water at 20 degree and saturation vapor pressure. So, 12 divided by 17.5. This is in percentage. So, solve it. You will get 69 percentage. If you are calculating percentage, this will be. If you are not calculating percentage, it will be under 0.61 fractional value. Now, next is how much. Uh, water vapor is uh, contained in a cubic room of 4 uh, meter along the edge of along an edge if the relative humidity is 50 percent and the temperature is 27 degrees centigrade. So uh, the vapor pressure of water at 27 degrees centigrade 26.72. So we have to find out what is the mass of water vapor. Simple. So first relative humidity partial pressure of water divided by uh, partial pressure of water uh, saturation vapor pressure of water. So this is given here 26.7 this we have to find out so 50 percent of this is so it's on solving you will get 13.4 torr now we have to find the most of the water so most of water will be pressure we know that this is the pressure what is the volume volume of the room is given this is the volume of the room temperature 300 
so this is the pressure this is the volume this is the r this is the temperature we will get 45.8 this is the moles of water now what is the mass of water so moles into molar mass we will get 82 80 824.4 gram assume that dry air contains nitrogen this percent so this is given a nitrogen uh, so 9 percent oxygen 21 21 percent by volume this is the by volume calculate the density of dry air and moisture at 25 degrees centigrade and one atmospheric pressure when reality humidity is 60 percent the vapor pressure of water at 25 degrees centigrade is 23.76 millimeters so already they have given the saturated vapor pressure of water so we have to find uh, density of dry air as well as moisture first dry air for dry air first we have to find the moles of nitrogen moles of water then we can find density so pressure of air is 760 millimeters so definitely nitrogen will be so volume by atmospheric pressures this is nitrogen similarly oxygen 21 percent by 760 so this is the pressure of the atmospheric oxygen so we got a partial pressure of nitrogen partial pressure of oxygen in uh, dry air now uh, let's uh, let consider volume of the air is 1 liter and temperature is 298 so already given it uh, 25 degrees centigrade this means 298 kelvin now most of nitrogen will be p by rt is pv we know p we know that we know that uh, r is given t is given so we will get this is the moles of nitrogen similarly most of oxygen will be this is the pressure volume rt so we get this is the moles of nitrogen so we got moles of nitrogen moles of oxygen now what is the density of dry air so moles into molar mass divided by 1 liter so weight by volume so weight of dry in 1 liter so weight means moles of nitrogen 28 moles of oxygen 32 divided by 1 liter so on solving so we will get 1.179 gram per liter this is the density of dry air now moisture in moisture where additional water is also present so we have to take out water also moisture also water vapor also so in water vapor partial pressure water vapor they have given 60 percent relative humidity so total is 60 by 100 and pure pressure is 23.76 if you see the questions it is given here this is 23.76 so we can use this equation over here 60 percent into pure pressure pure water vapor pressure we will get the 14.3 millimeter now pressure of the atmospheric pressure is 1 so in that one atmospheric pressure we have to decrease it because that is combination of three gases nitrogen oxygen and water so 760 minus 14.3 so we will get the uh, partial pressure of nitrogen oxygen because uh, we have to find in dry cases each pressure so these are the three pressure this is the together this is one now if you know the uh, together pressure of nitrogen oxygen we can find the individual individual pressure of nitrogen oxygen in a similar fashion in the similar fashion so nitrogen is 79 percent so 79 into total this is total we get 589.1 for oxygen same thing 21 percent into total we will get 156.6 millimeter now we got the three pressure now we can find the moles so moles of nitrogen will be p by rt so this is the pressure volume rt this is the moles oxygen p by rt this is the partial pressure 1 rt this is the moles again for a water p by rt pressure 1 liter rt this is the other moles of the water now weight of the uh, this one whole gases the total weight will be Moles of nitrogen into 28, moles of water into 18, moles of oxygen 32. So on solving, we will get the total number of moles because the volume is 1 liter. This is the total weight divided by volume 1 liter. So you will get 1.171 gram. So density of the moist air at 25 degrees centigrade will be 1.171 gram per liter. So if you see this question very carefully, uh, if you see the question carefully and solution carefully, so you, you can solve any type of problems uh, is coming in the examination or school examination or any competition examination because the, the, there is only one formula, one concept which is very very clear from this two three type of questions. So practice it, learn it and get good marks in the examination.